Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am Marcus. And I'm Shelby. And we are Cougars with a C. C. So we just got out of a conversation about how we met, and we ended up talking about us being in a long-distance relationship. And that's what we're going to cover today. So today's topic will be long-distance relationship. You got anything you want to say? Well, I know long-distance relationships are challenging. Right. And any relationship is a challenge, but I think adding on that extra level of being in another city 300 miles away is a whole nother, I guess, layer to a relationship. And um, you have, both parties in a relationship have to be willing. You have to be willing. And have to be, you know, up for it. You have to be willing to deal with not seeing your loved one every day, not being able to talk to them like you want to or face to face. Really. Yeah, face to face. Well, nowadays you but can. But even with, you know, even with the FaceTime, even with the Skype, you still can't do this. You right. Know? That's what I was getting to. You have to be um, willing to sacrifice that because mm-hmm. you can't come home and cuddle up with your loved one. You you. Get in the bed by yourself. Right. So you have to be able to, you know, deal with seeing them probably every three months. It was longer than that. Every sometimes. six months. Yeah. Yeah. So you have to be willing to, you know, go through some things. And and, and you're gonna have to be willing to like when I know one one time that I was like, man, I just can't wait. You know, you have to be patient, mm-hmm. and you can't be like, oh, I'm so ready, I'm so ready, because that long distance relationship is a process. But just like anything else, when you go through a process of building something, I mean, it'll come out a lot stronger than just seeing each other face to face and you jumping in with them. You know, and um, that's that's another thing. But I think another thing that people uh, should be aware of is just don't, I'm not, we're not saying jump in a long distance relationship and just go be with this person because our long distance relationship, it was different because we had a base. She had family where I was from. So we met through family. We met through people that we knew. So it wasn't just like we was online and we met this person and then we got together. People, please be careful because it's dangerous out here. And we're not saying jump on the plane and go meet somebody. I think another thing that um, about a long distance relationship is you should have a base. You should have a base, but don't be so um, caught up on what people saying. Get to know that person. Right. And, and doing that with that process, you will get to know the person you're um, that you're going to be in a relationship with. Because I knew you, mm-hmm. you know, just by. But when it was time for us to get married, I knew you. Yeah. I knew everything that I needed to know right. because we talked so much. Yeah. You know, so that communication and that's I would say that's a tip. You have to communicate more effectively. Uh, than regular because if me and you in the house and we're we're dating we get in the disagreement you could go your way I can go mine and come back and talk later but once you on that phone and you're in a long distance relationship you kind of we would say forced to face that right then and I think that was kind of a, a benefit yeah. of being in the long distance relationship because it forced us to resolve that issue instead right. of letting it linger right. and get bigger and bigger and bigger and then we got to know each other he got to know when something was wrong with me just by the tone of my voice he couldn't right. see my face mm-hmm. he couldn't see my body you know language, body language yeah. he couldn't see none of that he just learned by um my voice and me saying I'm fine, but you know, all women, we all say that. When she says she's fine, everything is wrong. So if you didn't know that, <laughs> by now you should know it. When she, a woman says she's fine, everything is wrong. And that's one thing that I learned from that because I would talk to him, she'd be like, I'm okay, I'm fine. No, you're not. I could tell that something is wrong. I can sense that something is wrong. Even when we was in a disagreement or something was going wrong, I would know that something is still bothering you even if you're telling me it's okay. Even if we say that we resolved the situation, I knew that it wasn't resolved because I could feel it. It's like I could almost feel when something was wrong with her and we weren't even in the same room or in the same city for that matter. Yeah, so with that, you have to communicate and you will learn to, you will learn each other more. Yeah. I think I think it's a, like, a more effective way of learning each other. Mm-hmm. So that's one benefit about I think another benefit is that 
it makes you appreciate the person. Because when I didn't, when it's different. Like we talked a lot, but when I saw you, I felt so yeah. much better. You know, I felt a lot better when I saw you. Even like uh, we go back talking about the other video when we first. When we got together, we was around each other all the time mm -hmm. because, you know, it was like... We was apart for two So years. long. Yeah. You know, so that was just... I mean, long-distance relationships are challenging, but I think that they they are worth it. Yeah. I'm not saying it's for you, but for us. Yeah. Because I was reluctant to even get into a relationship, but it's just what God had for me. So that right. that's one way I look at it, too. You just got to know what God got for you. Right, and I didn't base my previous relationship on this one because my previous relationship was long distance too and that way and horrible so if i would have came into this relationship with that it wouldn't have worked out you know i never been in a long distance relationship yeah so. not, not as far as we were we were 300 miles away and i know some people farther than that but for us i'm like man mm -hmm. that was a long way but it, it taught me to as well it taught me to take new uh challenges you know it was something that I wanted, so it taught me to fight for something I want, you know? So that, that it spilled over in another area of my life, to just to build, you know? Take that chance and see what you could do by, you know, going after something you love, and I loved you. I loved you too. I think I loved you from my first conversation, but I ain't tell nobody. Oh, I told somebody, but we not gonna go there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I heard, I got the message. And that's another thing about having that base, y'all. Uh-huh, yeah, have that little <laughs> snitch. <laughs> so, overall, being in a long distance relationship, you have to communicate, you have to be willing to be in this long distance relationship, both yeah. parties. Yeah. And um, you have to just remember what, what you doing this for, what yeah. you fighting for, what's yeah. your goal, I guess you could say yeah. that. And our goal was to be together and get married. Right, right. Because I just saw, like I said, it was so easy talking to you. Mm -hmm. So I felt that, like, if it was that easy for me to talk to you, I think that it would be worth, you know, just going after. It, it, wasn't, it wasn't like I had to do a whole lot to be with you. You, It was like, we was just ready, I believe, too. Yeah, we were. And you have to be ready. You have to be yeah, ready for do. that. So, that's our story. That's how yeah. that's that's how we manage the long-distance relationship. I feel like it's, it's so beneficial. It's so beneficial because it teaches you patience. It, it teaches you restraint. I mean, it teaches you so much. But if you're in a long distance relationship and you think about giving quit, I, I would say go back and reevaluate what made you make that decision mm -hmm. to jump into that relationship. Right. Because. And communicate, communicate. Communicate, communicate. Uh, even if you have to, you know, say let's take a week apart and realize where we at or, or see. Um, even if you have to say let's take a week apart and analyze what we're doing and come back together as long as you come back together and agree or agree to disagree that's fine but i mean long distance relationships are worth it but you got to put in the work yes, you, you have to put in the work anything else i think that's it i think that's it too so we hope that it helped you we hope that you like it hey like us on facebook subscribe on youtube leave some comments below please do and share help us reach a goal get some new shares to to touch somebody else and help somebody else. And y'all ain't might can even help us. So until the next time, I'm Marcus. And I'm Shelby. We're Krugers with a C. Bye.